but I got the PS4 controller connected and I want to see, you know, I don't know, I think I've never wrote code that handles a controller, even in Unity or stuff like that, I've never bothered with that, so I think it's gonna be an interesting thing to take a look. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So how do we start? So from last time I had an example, so we're trying to replicate this basically. Let's see if we can go back. So this is the one we're trying to port to Swift. So basically uh yeah there you go. That's what I want to run, but instead of running it here, I want to run it like in my version with Swift. And as you can see, if I move the axis, you see the left uh, joystick, the right joystick, and then the buttons in there. Okay. Okay. But it's a generic gamepad because I guess macOS doesn't really detect this as a PS4 controller out of the box. But, you know, doesn't matter. So what I did last time, I'm not sure if it was on camera or not, but yeah, we have set up this. I'm trying to load the textures and it doesn't really work, so we'll get back to that in a second. And then basically we are using the main uh, game loop, starting the rendering, clear the background, typical thing. And then we start detecting if there is a gamepad available. And if it's not available, we just show... Yeah, we show that we don't detect the gamepad. We are drawing and we close the window. Nothing weird. But then we get into here. So here in theory all of this is just to draw every state of the button on top of a, of a texture for Xbox and for PS4. Since I have a PS4 controller, I'm just recording this for now to show me this. Basically, you know, because I like PS, PlayStation better <laughs> than Xbox. That's mainly the reason. And then, what are we doing here? So it's not a gamepad. Yeah, that's fine, okay. So what I need to figure out is how to draw this texture. So in theory I have the textures here and the package. The package is set up to copy the resources, but I want to see if that's true. Uh, I guess let me try to... Hmm. Let's see. So if we do bundle main, what do we see? Yeah, drive data. Okay. Let me see. If I open this folder. If I open this folder. Examples with module. Project. Okay. Like, where are the resources? That shouldn't be it. Ah, this, I leave example bundle. Yes, and here we have the resource. Okay. If I do this, does it go... It does, right? This is the... Yeah, right example bundle, okay. 
Så det er der skræft, And if I do resource pass, does it look the same or not? Okay, that's not the resource. That seems better. Yes. So can I do resources? Uh, PS3 PNG. That's just for some wrap for now, I don't care. So if I open this, mm, it does not exist, why? Ah, yeah, go for I, mean, I shouldn't be doing this with strings, but whatever. Okay, yes, this, it opens here, perfect. So now the question is, if I use this as the name to load the texture, is it gonna work? Yes, it does, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Mm. Still, one thing I want to know is, is there something inside Raylib? I guess, or here, or here. That does anything related to this. Coco platform. Window. I'm not sure about that. Context. Library context. Nope. It doesn't seem like there is anything. And main? No. So I guess we can. Because there is this image, this image object here. But I'm not sure what it exactly adds. Because what is this image coming from? Yeah, image pixel data stored in CPU. And a texture is just uh, the same thing stored in the GPU. Okay. So this is a really object. And this file just adds extensions to it to make it swifter. But this load image. See, see string load image. But this root image is literally the file name and that's it. Like there is no load file data, I guess. Load file data. Yeah, this just does every. It's so it uses like a C API to do it. There is no platform specific code for this, it seems like at least. So it's kind of up to you to deal with the abstraction and with the problems. I wonder, like, because these are not gonna work on Windows. But okay. 
I mean, good to know. So anyway, so for now, but if I have a texture, uh, in it with URL. So I guess if I can get the URL through the bundle, I guess that's easier than just concatenating this, right? So let me try something else. Uh, I mean, let's keep this for now, and I want to print. That's one thing. Okay. The other thing that I can do is just get the bundle and ask directly for the resource. And the resource is a PS3. PNG. Okay, does this work? Nope. And if we do this, that works. So it feels like the resources, it's Like, why do I need this here? Isn't it something I'm missing here? Like, what if I do this? Well, let me clear. Okay, let's try to rebuild from scratch. That is still Yeah, it didn't change anything. But how can you put the resources without doing it? Uh Swift package manager resources. That's fine. But see, it feels like it's. See, that's what I want. I don't want to have the resources nested folder. So, why? It's just because I make that folder and that's it. I mean, I like this website. Let's take a look at this. But yeah, this focuses on my own, you know. Shared resources, see? Like they have this nested folder. Ah, but then it just got this specific one. Yeah, so from code wise, I guess you still need to copy the HTML. No. Where is this config? Config this. Okay, I guess. We can do this. And
So I guess what I'm wondering, it's basically this. My concern is this, that now if I use the URL API, it gets this. So now I'm not sure. Uh, okay. So can I pass? Okay. Let's say PS three inch. Yes, so now it's when we want to use this. Okay, seems to work. Yeah. Cool. So I can... Okay, that's good. So I guess the thing I'm gonna do is... Speed out these things here. So that's gonna be Xbox. And now we can create a texture directly with the Swifty initializer. Xbox in path. And I guess I should say... Yeah, let's say... URL. Okay, so now we should have... Yes, exactly. So now we have the texture being displayed. And I already have this hooked up, which is pretty cool. So now let's start drawing the buttons for the PlayStation. So we really this game. But put on down for the gamepad zero. So all of these are coded for the for the first gamepad. So if you put two, that like the second is ignored. And if you disconnect it, I've seen some crash, but I think I mean we can take a look later. So middle button. So now you want to draw a circle. At this exact position, so like these positions are exactly matching, and that's why I did, we didn't. I wanted the window to scale its contents automatically because otherwise, I'm not gonna be, you know, doing the math for all of this. So, which one is the middle button? Ah, this one. <laughs> and it actually shows uh, the macOS launchpad. If I do this, macOS shows the launchpad. Lol. But okay, fair enough. So yeah, it's kind of linked to some key, key. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, see that it's doing stuff. If I do this. Oh crap, are you telling me that I can manage macOS with the... Wow, that's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I can... It's like... That's fascinating. So you can go to Safari. That's super cool. Like the British system responds to the to the mouse. That's amazing, I don't know that. Okay, so what else? Now draw the basic buttons. Can we do something? Can we do something like, let's see. Oops, I already fucked up. So this is rail lip. This game bad down. And this. 
Uh, I think we can just get rid of all of this. That's not gonna work because completely different. But now we can do this, and they should all be kind of like really draw. We can go to okay. They have different. They have different number of parameters, so that breaks. But this should be fine. And this is a middle left. And this is a middle right. This is a right. What? Right face up. Right face right. I'm not sure what these buttons represent. Right face down. Right face left. Okay, so what do I have here? I mean, I'm gonna make it in multi-line to be honest, because it's easier to read. And here we can just do init x y. Same for this. This line is red. Oh my god, I'm not having the best day with this keyboard. Eh? Violet and pink. And this, this, and this. And we can close. And if Xcode is identing properly means we're on the right path. So I just put it like this. It takes more space than the one liner, but you know, eh. Okay. So now which buttons are these? Middle left, middle right, right, face up. I have no clue. Ah, okay, so this is the right face. Ah, okay, they call face. Okay, this is the right face, and the uh, and I get the D pad is the left face. Yes. So this is the X circle square, and it even uses the colors from you know <laughs> from the typical PlayStation controllers. Okay, cool. One interesting thing is that you see that there is the oops, the left joystick. You see the number changing here. Then the right joystick, and there is another one, and it's because the the L2 and R2 they also have like pressure, which is super cool. That's super cool. Okay, so now. Deepat.
left face up, left face down, left face left, and left face right. This should be red. Okay, so these are all the same color. Yeah, I guess they put the same colors because it's just uh, like the debut, so it's all the same. And I need to change this for Rayleigh Draw. And this is not needed because the if doesn't have. I wish I could. Sometimes this item tension is pretty cool, but you have to maintain it manually, at least in Xcode, and it's a pain in the ass. I wish there was some shortcut to find that like this. Okay. And why is it adding this rectangle in there? I don't understand. That feels weird, no? Like. What is this doing? I mean, now we have the all these colors, which is the joystick is moving. It would be cool to move the joystick a little bit, like to put a circle here and move it. I don't know if that's what we're gonna do next. But yeah, these rectangles. Why? Like, if I don't do this, what happens? Isn't this nicer? Why do we have that black thing in there? So this throws this one. And this? I don't see this drawing anything. Ooh. Wait, but if it was black, why didn't I see that? Oh, now I see it. Say what? Am I blind or what's going on? I don't understand. Yeah, now I see the two. Okay, I mean that that at least it makes sense. But I didn't. Hmm. I swear I just saw the vertical line. I don't understand why. Anyway, moving on. So now we want left and right back buttons. Yeah, so that's the trigger. But it's yeah, I mean curious of this because the back so if it's these ones, they are detected as axes. And that's drawn here. But maybe they are also treated as buttons. Left trigger one. I think this is are the ones, not the twos. This was right trigger one, right? Yes. Right trigger one. So we can oops. Red, red. Let's see which ones are these. So 
do I have all of these? Yeah, it's the one. Okay. So that's the one. Do, 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 do. Right trigger one, left trigger one. And I don't think the twos are gonna work because if you see here at the bottom, like button detected, it doesn't work when I press the the ones, the two, R2 and L2. Drone axis left joystick. Ah, okay. Yeah, so apparently it, it, yeah, it's fine. So it's set up properly to basically uh, treat the PS3, PS4 as proper like axis. That's nice. So I guess what if we do this? Okay. And these functions are the same ones that are down below. Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay, okay. Black, black, light gray, light gray. Now, what do we have to cast here? Let me just get rid of this. Game. Ah, I thought I already. I did the ones below. Okay. This is left X and this is left Y. So I don't really need this parenthesis. This is not needed. Okay, so now I just need to do the same thing here. Instead of uh, that, I'm just gonna do in 32. In 32. Right text. Okay, so that's done. Now we just need to change here this. left trigger and right trigger down a couple of red ones and just some casting because you know numbers are tricky okay let's see what this did mm. Okay. Ah, look. That's cool, the joystick is there. That's what I wanted. That's cool. But the right one is not correct. I the left one. Why? And I feel like the... The left-right triggers... It's like it's kind of reverse, right? Do I have to do this part? Yeah, 
doesn't change anything. Okay. So maybe that's how it's supposed to look then. But still, I want the the left trigger. Why? Ah, blank. There you go. So now you see the. That's super cool, man. La 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 la. And the colors. And uh, these two also. So, the, yeah, the only thing weird is that I feel like the red shouldn't be displayed until I do this. And I guess these ones are these two triggers. Yes, it's these two lines. So what is the value of this? So that's minus one. And when I click, it goes to one. Ah, so it goes from minus one to one. Okay, okay. And here, what time I... Yeah, the height. So this is the height. And 70 is the height of the entire, of this entire rectangle, okay. So when it's minus one, it should be zero. And right now it's one minus one. Mm. I guess I'm missing a parenthesis. No, it's here already. Yes. So it's y minus one, then divided by two, it's still zero. And then multiply by 70, so it's zero. So I don't understand. Mm, this is something I'm missing. Because if this whole thing it's zero, yes, so you don't see it, okay, that makes sense. So then, hmm. Ah, because it's minus, minus one, fuck's sake. Well, it goes to one. Yeah, so it's completely reversed. So isn't it just like I don't have to do this? Yes. It feels like this number is reversed basically. So what if I just do this? Okay, this looks better. There you go. Took me a while, huh? My defense, it's late. But now it works. 
That is cool. That is cool. Now, there is something else I don't understand. Ah, because it's an integer. Yes, that's why. Because it would be cool to see the progress. Like in the same way that you see here, well, on, or on the console. But you see that it goes from 1 to 0 to. Okay, I want to see that progress here. So, how can we do that? Because this draw rectangle expects integers, okay? But I think that we are casting to an integer too late, too early. So many parentheses. Let me just freaking rewrite this without so many parentheses. So first, I do this. Okay. So that's one thing that needs to happen first, and then with the byte by two. And multiply by 70. Okay. So what's the problem with this? That this is a float, but it needs to be an integer. Okay. But can't I... But can't I just... Let's see what this prints. Let's see what this prints. Yeah, perfect. So I just have to, yeah. So I just have to do the in32 at this point, so at the end of all the math. That makes sense, okay. So the difference here is that I want the parentheses like this. That's it, no? So now we should see a progress bar and an analog. Oh shit, it goes from off. <laughs> oh, it's so complicated. See, when you are not used to do like this kind of coding, like this math. Okay, so. Why? Why? Ah, because it draws the wires at the top. Ah, I'm just so used to the other way around. So, so when it's zero, it's there, and when it's seventy, it grows down. I mean, does it really matter? I mean, I should, I could reverse it, but I'm just gonna leave it like this, to be honest. Because it's not that bad, like, it depends how you look at the, at the controller, right? So it's not that bad, that's cool. Okay. So, that's, that's done. And draw the generic gamepad, I mean, who cares, no? In my opinion, a generic gamepad, like, we should just take one of the other ones, but whatever. So, shall we do now the... If I remove this if now, we're gonna see that there is no... Okay. Generic gamepad, because it doesn't detect this as a PS controller. So, let's do this now, let's say, so now let's, let's pretend I have an Xbox controller, right, so, I think I'm just gonna start copying.
Okay, let's see. So we draw the texture and then we draw the this home. So we can do this and the only thing that changes is these numbers. Okay, does it work? Yes, it does work. And it's annoying because macOS reacts to it, but you can see how it works. <laughs> it's like if I click it, macOS reacts to it. But it's fine. Okay, so now we go for this. And in theory, left. Okay, so this is reversed for some reason. So left, what is it? Middle left. And the numbers are this. And we're doing circles here now for some reason. So that will be the left. Uh, Ah, these ones. Yeah, okay. I didn't understand which ones were the middle ones. Okay. Wait, and the PS4... And this one has a square? Ah, yeah, because it's a square and the other is a triangle. Ah, yeah, makes sense. Okay. Fancy. Cool. So then, the middle right... It's gonna be this one. But it's gonna draw a circle too. And it's just gonna use these numbers. Okay. So let's give that a try. And okay, we have the select and the start or whatever you call them in Xbox land. And now we just have the buttons, which they should be the same. So the up is this one, and you have the gold, and then the right is this, and it's maroon. F, F, like I don't have an Xbox controller, I never had an Xbox, so I don't really know the colors at all. I mean, of course, I've seen it, <laughs> but I don't have it on my head right now. I don't know from memory which colors we are used to. I'm blue. I'm blue. So let's give this a try. And there you go. And we have these ones. Okay, there we go. Next, the D-pad. The D-pad should be like the same, no? These two things are like this, but the numbers are different because they are in different positions. Okay. And then the game pad left and left right, so all of that is the same, so I just need the so I just need the numbers really. So left is left. Down. Face left. And right. Now let's give it a try. It works. It works. Cool. So down to the left right buttons. So those are the So 
So the left one, yep, we'll go here, and the right one. Okay, let's give this one a try too. Uh, right trigger. This one's too. Okay. Easy. Yeah, to be honest, at this point it's just, you know, porting some code. So this is the same, right? The black and light gray. So black. Um, light grey and now here it's this multiplied by 20 this number is different and movement left 20, 25, black so that's exactly the same And this is the left joystick. Perfect. I think it will be cool. Like if you click, it should change the color. What do you guys think? Like we we should do this now. Let's try to remember to do it. So here we have these colors that are this and this is goes here the 20 is the same the 255 is a 237 2025 black so that should be the other joystick there you go and now for the triggers I can just expand this now. <laughs> so if I take this, that should be the same. And if I take this, that should be the same. And now the math I hope is the same and all the stuff will work out. Because I think we're drawing the same thing. Yes, we're drawing the same thing. Okay, cool. So I think what I want to do is just when I press the thumb, I want this to have to be red. So it's when I'm drawing this. So instead of this black, I want a uh, ray lip is game but button down. Gamepad and button. What does it say? Left thumb. Left thumb. So if it's the left thumb is down, let's put it red, otherwise, we put it black. Does that work? Again with the blank, fuck's sake. Ah, my goodness. Okay, so it's black and if I press it, it's red. I like it. So now we can do the same here. But with the right. And to be honest, we can just copy paste it. For the PS versions. The left and the right one is here, and we can put it here. Got to this. Now we have 
all the Xbox. Do, 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 do. All the buttons, even this fancy thing. There you go, and the start thing. Oops. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So that's how a controller. Oh, wait, I forgot about this. What is this? Xbox Axis LT. Left trigger. Why the PS3 doesn't have that? Is it because, I don't know. Does the Xbox controller has different things than the PS4? Ah, draw text. But isn't this text drawn here? I don't know, let's see. And this text format we saw your day how that's just uh C interpolation stuff. So we don't actually need that. I mean I should probably look into because I never remember how to how to truncate the floats. Uh no, here. Okay, that should work. I'm gonna put now it's not black or black and now it's black. My god. And this is left trigger and this is right trigger. Where is the completion? Back. Oh man, I'm tired. Eh? I am tired. Okay, so if I do this, what happens? Isn't that kind of ah okay? But if it's here, shouldn't it be? That's weird. It's kind of like the code was written because it didn't detect, maybe in Windows it detects differently and Mac OS detects this as an axis, who knows. But this feels weird. Anyway, I'm just gonna leave it like this. Uh, what I am gonna do... To be honest, I'm just gonna do this. I mean, e. Let's do it like that, just in case. Because I don't know what really pretends a generic gamepad to be. And let me remove the... So now if I do this, I see, uh, but let me just draw, this text, let me draw it at the end, like on top of it, so it's like generic gamepad. The sad thing is that the 
like the big metal button on the PS4, it doesn't like that good. But okay. So I guess that's it, no? I guess that's it. <laughs>